Welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide and this is continuation of PySpark tutorial. So in this video we are going to see about the substring function in PySpark. So agenda is first we'll see what is the substring then how we can use the substring with column and then we'll see how we can use the substring with select statement and at last we'll see about the sub str using the with column. So what is the substring? So substring function is used to extract the substring from a data frame a string column by providing the position and length of the string you wanted to extract. So you need to remember like we have to provide the position the first thing. Second how many characters we want to extract from the string we have to specify. So let's assume we have one of the string that is a substring and we just want to extract the sub part from here. So what we have to do, we have to specify the position. So position is the first position. So we have to specify one. Then how many characters we want? We want only three characters as in sub we have three characters. Then in the second parameter we have to specify three. After that it will be going to extract the string part from this substring. So let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical. So here I'm going to create one of the data frame and this data frame is having ID and date column that you can see. So let me try to execute and in the output we can see it is created. Now the requirement is we just want to extract the year part, month part and date part from this date column. So how we can do that? So simply we have to use like df dot here I am going to use the with column so with column so it will be going to add a new column in the existing string so first it is asking about the string so we just want to extract the year first so this will be the year second it is asking about the column so the column here we have to use the substring so substring function is not directly available then we have to import it so we can use the from Spark dot sql dot functions then I am going to import all the function now here simply we can use the substring and inside the bracket it is asking again two parameter first is the column from which we want to extract so we just want to extract from this date type column so df dot date we can add in the second parameter it is asking the position so position we just want to start from one and how many characters we want we want four characters so that we can see four here so it will be going to add in another data frame that is df1 and here let me try to use the display of this df1 so it will be having one more additional column in the data frame so that we can see and it is having the year so similarly we can also use with column one more time and here instead of the year I'm going to use the month so it will be going to extract the month but in case of the month the starting string that should be from six and how many characters we want we want only two character and similarly we can add one more with column and this is for the day so we can specify day in the substring we can count from where we need to start so we need to start 4 5 6 7 8 9 here we can specify 9 and how many characters we want we want only two characters let me try to execute and we will see here okay so it is saying the syntax error this is because i am missing this closing bracket let me execute it again and here we can see it is successfully extracted the year month and day by using the substring so we have seen how we can use it with column function. Now let me try to implement the same by using the select statement. So let me try to copy this and go to here and here. Let me try to use select the first parameter we want to as ID and the second column we just want to as date. Then here we have to use the substring so we can use the substring and again it will be same like year and we are going to start from one and we want four characters then dot 
alias so the alias of this will be here now let me try to execute it okay so here the first parameter that we have passed which is not correct it should be df dot date now we can execute and we will see the output of this so here we can see it is extracted the year part so similarly we can also use one more column on this and and this should be for the month so we can simply use month and it will be going to start from six and want only two characters so that we can do and similarly let me try to add one more column on the existing data frame and it will be having date and it is going to start from nine and we want only two characters similarly for the month only two characters let me try to execute and we'll see it will be having total three additional column in the existing one so year month and day now let me try to see how we can use the sub str function so the sub str function will also do the same thing that we are seeing inside the substring so here let me try to use df dot with column and it will be for year only so the first parameter of the column name as year then we have to specify the column by which we want to extract so i am going to use the column which is the date so either we can use like this or we can also go with the df dot date now after that we can use the sub str function so this sub str will be asking like how many part we want so we want to extract from this column which is the date type we want to start from one and we want only four characters so simply we can do like this and let me put this in another data frame is df1 and here let me use the display of df1 let me execute it so it will add one additional column with the year and it is having the same value so sub str is going to use like this uh, under the width column first we have to specify from which column we want to extract then under dot we can use the sub str and we can specify the starting character from where we want to start then we have to specify how many characters we want so we can specify the length so similarly we can do for the month and day as well but mostly i am not using the sub str i am using the sub string function because this is very similar to the inside the sql we have already seen that so i hope guys you have understand how we can use the sub string function so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video